Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiju Vasudevan. Now here in third Pi, we have a group frequency table with gap. So that's the first thing you should notice when you are and you have a class interval, always check whether it has a gap or not. It has a gap. So we are going to apply linear interpolation to find Q1, Q2, Q3. First you need cumulative frequency. To find cumulative frequency, write the first frequency as it is and keep on adding the next one. 27, 40, uh, 57, 60, 70. So that's a cumulative frequency. Now to find Q1, you take the sum of the frequency, which is going to be 70. Or you can just take this number. Divide by 4, 17.5. Look at the cumulative frequency and check where this 17.5 lies. Anything more than 2 till 27 lies in here. So your 17.5 lies in here. You need to take the class boundaries of the corresponding class interval. And we learned how to find the class boundaries. You don't take 32, 33, that's wrong. The class boundaries here, the average of these two, 31.5 and then 33.5. So you take 31.5 on 33.5. The corresponding cumulative frequency and the previous cumulative frequency, your 17.5 is somewhere in between 2 and 27. So the corresponding value here is going to be Q1 and apply linear interpolation that the Q1 minus this divided by this minus this. So Q1 minus 31.5 divided by 33.5 minus 31.5 is equal to, do the same thing here, 17.5 minus 2 divided by 27 minus 2. So when I started teaching this method, I showed you a formula. The formula is this. To find Q1, you need to write L plus sigma F over 4 minus FC over FQ times W, which is same, but same as this. If you make Q1 as a subject, this is going to be sigma F over 4 minus the FC divided by FQ. The FQ is, when you put 27 minus 2, you will get the corresponding frequency. FC is the previous frequency times the width. If you bring this here, that's the class width actually. If you subtract them, you get the class width plus L. L is the lower boundary of this class interval. So the formula is the same thing here. Instead of memorizing formula, we apply this linear interpolation method. It's almost the same. It's actually the same actually. So to find the median, divide sigma f by 2, sigma f, sum of f, or this last digit, the last figure from uh, cumulative frequency, you get 35. Check where the 35 lies in cumulative frequency. Anything more than 27 till 57 lies in here. So your 35 also lies in here. Take the corresponding class interval. Not class interval, class boundaries. So here it's going to be 33.5 to 36.5. So 33.5 to 36.5. And the corresponding cumulative frequency, previous cumulative frequency, your 35 is somewhere in between this. The corresponding value here is going to be Q2. So apply any interpolation. Q2 minus this divided by 36.5 minus this is equal to do the same thing here. 35 minus 27 over 57 minus 27 make Q2 as such. So the Q2 is going to be 34.3 is Q2. So here we learn three different types of data, mean, median, mode, lower quartile, upper quartile and the very important linear interpolation method also. So I'll catch up with you all in another video with another new topic. 
Meanwhile, if you have any questions in any of the methods you learn here, leave a comment below. I will try to answer your questions.